Hi everyone. Welcome to the class of Indian writing in English. Today we are going through the characters, symbols and questions based on the short fiction The Interpreter of Maladies written by Jumba Lehri. Let's begin with the Interpreter of Maladies characters. I think all of you know it well. There are seven characters in this short fiction. First character is Mr. Kabasi. Mr. Kabasi is a 46 year old tour guide working in India who accompanies the Das family on a sightseeing trip to the Sun Temple. Although written in the third person, the interpreter of melodies is largely filtered through his consciousness and point of view. Polite, responsible and observant, Mr. Kabasi is intrigued or attracted by the foreignness of Mr. Das, Mrs. Das and their three children. As a young man, he had dreamed of working as an interpreter or translator for diplomats and dignitaries. But life has not lived up to Mr. Kabasi's expectations. Instead, in middle age, he finds himself escorting tourists and working a second job as an interpreter of maladies in a doctor's office to support his family. He is stuck in an unhappy marriage with a wife from whom he has grown estranged following the death of their son. Estranged means no longer close or affectionate to someone. Perhaps because of these dissatisfactions and disappointments, Mr. Kabasi is particularly drawn to the young and attractive Mrs. Das and begins to fantasize about a romantic relationship with her. During the course of his outing with the family, he begins to believe that his attraction to her is reciprocated. By the end of the story, however, his hopes are once again dashed as he realizes that Mrs. Das does not seek his love but merely his professional help. Next character is Mrs. Das. The object of Mr. Kabasi's romantic interest, Mrs. Das is on holiday in India with her husband, Mr. Das, and their three children, Ronnie, Bobby, and Tina. Like her husband and children, Mrs. Das is of Indian origin, but was born and raised in America. At 28, Mrs. Das is young and attractive, stylishly dressed in western fashion. On her family, outing to the Sun Temple, which Mr. Kabasi chapter once or accompanies in his role as a tour guide. She behaves in an unpleasant way towards her children and her husband, often bickering or arguing with the leader. Having married and had children at a young age, she has led a lonely, isolated life, weighed down by family responsibilities and is a very unhappy woman. Towards the ends of the story, she reveals to Mr. Kabasi that cheated on her husband with a friend of his years earlier in a secret affair that led to the birth of 
her son Bobby. Despite professing to feel terrible around her family, because of this, she proves unwilling to take responsibility for her actions. She instead turns to Mr. Kabasi for some relief, which of course he is unable to offer her when Mr. Kabasi suggests she is not suffering from any malady or illness other than guilt. She storms away from him. Next character is Mr. Das. Mr. Das is the husband of Mrs. Das and the father of Bobby, Ronnie and Tina. A middle school science teacher in New Jersey where he lives with his family. He is on holiday with his wife and children in India. Like the rest of the Das family, Mr. Das has roots in India but was born and raised in America. Throughout the family's outing to the Sun Temple, Mr. Das is busy reading from an India guidebook and snapping pictures with his camera. He seems to be out of touch with his wife and children who often ignore or challenge his directions and wishes. Such interactions reveal that he lacks authority and respect as a father and a husband. Indeed, Mr. Das himself is unaware of how completely out of touch he is. He does not even know that his second son, Bobby, is in fact not his biological child, but a product of an affair that his wife had with a friend of his. Mr. Das is a passive, ineffective parent, incapable or unwilling to reprimand his children for misbehaving. In a moment of crisis, when Bobby is surrounded by monkeys, he fails to do anything but accidentally take a picture of the scene. Next character is Bobby. The second son of Mr. Das and Mrs. Das, Bobby, 8 years old, is different in appearance from his younger sister Tina and his older brother Ronnie. This is because he is in fact not Mr. Das's biological son but rather was conceived as a result of an affair that his mother had with a friend of her husband's. Neither Bobby nor his father know the truth about his paternity. Born and raised in the United States, Bobby is dressed like an American and speaks English with an American accent. The sights and sounds of India, where his family is vacationing, are new to him. He is also a brave and adventurous boy. When the family encounters Hanuman monkeys, Bobby takes a stick and passes it back and forth with one of the animals. At one point, however, he is threatened by danger when he wanders away from the family and is surrounded by a group of monkeys who begin to attack him. Mr. Kabasi comes to the boy's rescue. Next character is Ronnie. Ronnie is the eldest son to Mr. Das and Mrs. Das and brother to Bobby and Tina. Ronnie, like his brother and sister, 
is excited by the sounds and sights of India. Born and raised in America, Ronnie is Americanized in his speech, dress and mannerisms. He and his siblings are especially excited by the Hanuman monkeys that the family encounters on a tourist outing to the Sun Temple. Ronnie doesn't seem to have much respect for his father's authority. Ignoring Mr. Das when the leader warns him not to touch a god. He is also mean to his younger brother Bobby, calling the boy a dummy when Bobby asks an innocent question about why the driver's seat is on the wrong side of cars in India. Next character is Tina. The youngest child of Mr. Das and Mrs. Das, Tina often seeks her mother's attention, wanting to participate in activities such as painting their nails together, but is ignored by Mrs. Das. Being the youngest, Tina requires the most looking after. Both Mr. and Mrs. Das are reluctant to take full responsibility for her. However, as is suggested at the beginning of the story, when they argue over who should take Tina to the bathroom. Like her brothers, Ronnie and Bobby, Tina is excited by the sight of the Hanuman monkeys that the family encounters on an outing to the Sun Temple. Born and raised in America, like her siblings and parents, she is Americanized in her ways, dress and speech. And sights and sounds of India are new to her. Last character is Mr. Kabasi's wife. Mrs. Kabasi, wife of the tour guide Mr. Kabasi never makes a direct appearance in the interpreter of maladies. However, Mr. Kabasi reflects on his unhappy relationship with her throughout. Mr. Kabasi works two jobs in order to provide for her and his children partly as a result of the guilt he feels over the death of a son. Mr. Kabasi has felt disconnected from his wife ever since the passing of their child. Next, we are going through the symbols of the story, the interpreter of maladies. First one is Hanuman monkeys. Throughout the interpreter of maladies, Hanuman monkeys represent the dangers that threaten the Das family as a consequence of Mr. Das and Mrs. Das's negligence as both parents and partners. The animals first appear while Mr. Kapasi is driving the couple and their children towards the Sun Temple. One causes the tour guide to break suddenly when it jumps in front of the car. In this moment, representing a literal physical threat to the family's safety. In response, Mr. Das displays a distinct lack of concern, instead simply remarking on his children's excitement to see the animals and pulling out his camera. His wife, meanwhile, begins painting her nails. When Mrs. Das later storms away from Mr. Kabasi, after confessing that her son Bobby is the product of an affair, the monkeys lured or attracted 
by crumbs of puffed rice that she has dropped from a snack bag trail her ominously they then begin to attack bobby the unwitting product of mrs dasser's affair having been led to him by the food that his mother left behind mrs dasser's failure to watch where she is dropping crumbs reflects her broader refusal to take responsibility for her actions both this and the affair itself a betrayal of her marriage was put her family directly in harm's way the presence of the monkeys in this final moment thus underscores that by neglecting their duties to each other and their children mr and mrs das have left their family vulnerable to attack next symbol is camera the expensive camera with a telephoto lens that mr das uses to snap pictures throughout the story symbolizes the das family's bicultural identity and wealth mr das often uses the camera to take photographs of things that are common sights in india for instance the hanuman monkeys as well as a man with a turban sitting atop a cart in presenting mr das taking pictures of these everyday sights lahiri positions him and his family as outsiders in relation to their own country of origin the das family may have indian roots but their identity is ultimately shaped by having been born and raised in america on another level the camera represents the das family's wealth especially in comparison with that of their tour guide mr kabasi Mr Kabasi has to work two jobs to support his family. Mr Das meanwhile not only can afford to go on vacation in India but can also afford expensive equipment to document the trip. In this way the camera signifies the gap in affluence that exists between the Das family and mr kabasi as well as that between india and america more broadly mr das's camera represents his inability to see the world clearly or engage with it because he views the world through his camera mr das sees the reality of the world around him both in his marriage and in the scenes outside the cab mr das chooses to have mr kabasi stop the car so that he can take a photograph of his starving peasant wanting the picture only as a souvenir of india and ignoring the man's obvious need for help his view of the man's reality is distorted because he sees the man only through the camera lens mr das snaps pictures of monkeys and scenery taking the camera from his eye only when he turns back to his guide book rather than engage actively with the india that surrounds him he instead turns off the safety of frozen images and bland descriptions of ancient sites he has come to visit india but what he will take away with him pictures and snatches of guide book phrases he could have gotten from any shop at home in new brunswick new jersey 
Mr. Das also uses the camera to construct a family life that does not actually exist. His children are insolent and his wife is distant. Yet Mr. Das tries to pose them in pictures that suggest harmony and intimacy. When Mrs. Das refuses to leave the car, when they visit the monastic dwellings, Mr. Das tries to change her mind because he wants to get a complete family portrait, something he says they can use for their Christmas card. This happy family that Mr. aspires to catch on film is pure fabrication. But Mr. Das does not seem to care. He would rather exist in an imaginary state of willful ignorance and arm's length engagement than face the disappointments and difficulties of his real life. Next symbol is Mrs. Das's puffed rice. Puffed rice, insubstantial and Bland represents Mrs. Das's mistakes and careless actions. Physically, Mrs. Das is young and attractive, but she is spiritually empty. She does not love her children or husband and is caught in the boredom of her life as a housewife. Her depression and apathy distance her from her family but she harbors a secret that could tear the entire family apart. She carelessly scatters the puffed rice along the trail at the monastic dwellings, never thinking about the danger her actions pose to others. Even when she realizes the danger to Bobby as monkeys surround and terrify him, Mrs. Das does not take any responsibility for the situation, just as she refuses to acknowledge any guilt about her affair with Mr. Das's friend. Last symbol is the Sun Temple. The Sun Temple is a tourist site in India that Mr. Das and Mrs. Das and their children visit accompanied by their tour guide, Mr. Kabasi. On one hand, the ancient temple symbolizes the cultural heritage that all of these characters share, given that they all have roots in India. On the other hand, the characters' contrasting relationship to the Sun Temple signals the cultural gulf that exists between Indians and Indian Americans. Although the Das family is of Indian origin and the temple is therefore a part of its history, the family approaches the site strictly as tourists. Mrs. Das displays a distinct impatience upon learning how for they must drive to reach the temple, suggesting a lack of excitement about our respect for the site. While Mr. Das relies on his guidebook for information about it, information that in fact proves inaccurate. Having spent their entire lives in America, the Das family are more American than an Indian and their identity is reflected in their distanced touristic attitude to the temple. Mr. Kabasi, however, is much more closely connected to the temple than the family he chapel wants. He is intimately familiar with the site which he refers to as one of his favorite places and readily shares his knowledge about it with the Das family. Lahiri suggests that the connection that Mr. Kabasi feels 
to the sight is not simply because of his work. Unlike the Americanized Das family, Mr. Kabasi has spent his entire life in India and it follows, identifies much more closely with the Indian culture and the heritage. Theme of the story The difficulty of communication is the main theme we can see in this story. Communication breaks down repeatedly in interpreter of maladies, often with hurtful consequences. Mr. Kabasi, who is the interpreter of maladies, as Mrs. Das names him, has lost his ability to communicate with his wife, forcing him to drink his tea in silence at night and leading to a loveless marriage. He has also lost his ability to communicate in some of the languages he learned as a younger man, leaving him with only English, which he fears he does not speak as well as his children. Mr. and Mrs. Das do not communicate, not because of a language barrier, but because Mrs. Das hides behind her sunglasses most of the time and Mr. Das has his nose buried in a guidebook. The children do not listen to their parents, nor do they listen to Mr. Kabasi about the monkeys. All these frustrated attempts at communicating with one another lead to hurt feelings. The Kabasis are trapped in a failing marriage. The Dasas are openly hostile to each other. The Das children run rampant over their parents and everyone else. And Mr. Kabasi and Mrs. Das are unable to reach a level of friendship that they both may have sought if only they could speak with one another openly. When Mrs. Das loses Mr. Kabasi's address at the end of the story, it marks the termination of the possibility that they could reach out to each other and the definite end to all communication between them. I think it's the right time to go through the questions. You please find out the answers for these questions. Take care and stay at home. Thank you.